my name is Brian Sweetek. I write the uh, blogs Laylapse for Wired Science and Dinosaur Tracking for Smithsonian Magazine. As I was growing up, you know, people would say, well, you can't be a paleontologist. You live in New Jersey. There's nothing here to find. You need to go somewhere out west. And I couldn't afford to go out west for school, so I settled on marine biology. Part of our program involved teaching marine science to a local fourth grade class. When I tried to teach that class about the evolution of whales, the principal of the school said he didn't want me doing that because he thought it might be a little too controversial. And I'd never run into young earth creationism before or objections to evolution of that sort. And it got me really curious, okay, why do people have this problem with science? That uh, sort of allowed me to springboard into blogging about science and uh, just, you know, reading technical papers and books. I just dove right into it and uh, didn't stop. Scientists, even though there's a sort of reticence in the academic community in terms of, you know, getting on board with Twitter and, and blogging and sharing research that way, many of them are either starting to blog or already reading blogs and engaging in those conversations. So rather than being this you know, outsider trying to make his way in, I felt really accepted and like part of the scientific and blogging communities. It's one of the things I think is really exciting about paleontology and evolutionary science now is that we're able to meld so many different fields together. The big story of uh, 2010 was that scientists were able to look at the preserved fossil feathers of some dinosaurs and see these microscopic structures that correspond to colors, and we know this because we see these same structures in the feathers of birds. So by looking at these very finely preserved fossils, we can finally start to detect what color dinosaurs were, where in every book I ever read about dinosaurs as a kid is that we can't tell what color dinosaurs were, here's our best guess. You know, I'm sure some paleo artists aren't really happy about that, but uh, yeah, I find it very exciting. I'm just always astounded by, by the sort of questions people are able to not only come up with, but actually start to test. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to you know what's going to happen in the next few years. I think this is a really critical time for uh, paleontology.